Okay. Well, thank you everyone for coming out today um, and for your time. Um, my colleague Eduardo did an outstanding introduction this morning in regards to what we do at our company, uh, Odilo, what we do, who we are, and it was very interesting uh, to know a little bit more in, in that uh, interesting debate. And now I'm going to be focused a little bit more in our mission, um, what m really motivates us at Odilo, and specifically I'm going to talk about a movement that we launched uh, with the EdTech industry. We, we encourage all of uh, our partners to, to be part of, of this uh, amazing movement, and we are very happy with the results. Um, before I, I introduce you this, this a little bit farther and get a little bit more into detail, uh, I wanted to play a video for you to have a, a summary of what I'm talking about, about this social impact that we are making in, in, at, at Odilo and in the whole industry itself. I hope you like it. So I'm going to play it now. Let's see if it works. The number of children and their families who are forced to move is increasing day to day. They have to start classes in a new school in a new country. Ukrainian kids are facing new challenges. Together with Ukrainian partners, volunteers, publishers, we have launched hashtag EdTechStand with Ukraine, a movement to support children affected during the Ukrainian crisis. The EdTech industry more than ever aims to show that in time with children's education needs, technology can have a world's positive impact. We have created an unlimited learning ecosystem where children have access to thousands of language learning materials in all formats and to virtual classes with both the teachers from different European countries complementing their home learning programs and keeping them engaged with their Ukrainian roots, thanks to one-click access to thousands of educational resources, an artificial intelligence system that selects the best content and learning experiences for every student based on their learning level. Specialized Ukrainian teachers will talk through virtual classes and reading plans around books by Ukrainian popular authors. In addition, together we have launched a marketplace that connects Ukrainian content providers facing logistical barriers with children and families. Odilo applied for local editorial and printing rights to be able to print on demand and deliver, and profits generally go to the publisher. Thanks to this initiative, children and families are receiving their scholar books, and at the same time, we support local partners. Thanks to more than 3 million resources, we provide them with a much-needed conflict-free space to just enjoy, share, and connect together with virtual book clubs where Ukrainian authors interact with kids, interact with communities led by moderators. Because if learning or connecting is not their main concern now, we should try to support them in any possible way. Now more than ever, we need to show that we are true to our mission of democratizing access to high-quality education. The EdTech industry plays a key role, again, in helping to continue the good development of education in the world. Help us engage with institutions, educational providers, and volunteers. Help us connect with Ukrainian families. Share it through your socials. Let's make a difference together. We are looking forward to hearing from you. So this is exactly what we want to do and we, we pursue at Odilo. We want to make impact in education. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to focus a little bit more in, in that mission. But just one second. Uh, sorry, I didn't... Um, remember to introduce myself. My name is Fatima and I'm in charge of strategic partnership uh, at Odilo. And, and I wanted to, to give you this overview before of what we do in, uh, at Odilo with a few very impact, if, uh, impressive numbers, right? So we, we have more or less 100, 170 million users in all of our verticals. Um, we approach to schools, private and public, corporate, uh, governments and, and universities, and, and we are helping more than 8,000 organizations already to, to be unlimited learners. That's what we do. We build unlimited learning ecosystem and we personalize them to, to be able to focus on the learning necessities of each user. So uh, we work with, with uh, different organizations and, and that's uh, more or less what, what we do and also um, we are in 50 countries around the world, so we are putting uh, all of our efforts in, in trying to convince the world how important unlimited learning or the, the philosophy of lifelong learning 
means and is around the world. So we are now in, in all of these uh, countries and continents. And this is a little bit of, of an overview of the impact that we are creating in learning. In between three and five times, we have increased the learning habits. Uh, that's something that we pursue, especially in our K-12, K well, in all of our verticals, but it is, it's very important in the, for, for students of, of all of our schools that we are at. And uh, we also have a, a very big improvement in reading, reading comprehension uh, that increased by 134%. And uh, actually, Niels, in, in, in the other workshop, he's going to explain, I think that that also will improve that. Uh, and we're also help, helping save 90% uh, families. So the unlimited learning possibilities are, well, to, to repeat it again, but un unlimited. So. This is not the first time now, now to, to put it into context and to go on, on this social project that really interests us today and that to really reinforce our mission. It's not the first time that we at Odilo uh, pursue a social goal. We, we did that with the lockdown during the COVID outbreak. We decided to, to put technology and all of our resources uh, to support children when they couldn't attend to school. So we, we thought that it's, it's very important in, that in this moment that the, the education is at risk or they're like, uh, children have those necessities, we, we want to be there and we want to, to keep on pursuing our goal of providing access to, to high quality education at all times and everywhere in the world, no matter where they are. So our mission is that, is, is to reinforce that with this type of social projects that we are very proud to be part of, of Odilo, and especi especially in the tech industry, as we can put the technology uh, uh, to, to help uh, all of the children and, and create equality in education by making this uh, digital content affordable and, and, uh, and accessible to everyone in the world. That's very famous, the word democratizing, but, it, but it's true. It's actually what we personally want to, to do, as well as uh, promoting the learning habits to, to keep on improving. So this type of initiatives help us uh, push us in our limits and keep on being motivated to really show the, and reinforce this mission. Right, so so that everyone can um, reach their full potential, not only as a user, that's very important, that's why we personalize the, our ecosystems, but also as an organization. And we're very thankful and, 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 and grateful, and I, I wanted to, to thank especially Enrico, that's uh, <laughs> in the first row, so thank you so much for having supported us, uh, as well as other organizations, well, well, Enrico from the FEF, the Federation of European Publishers, and the International Publishing Association too, but also the European Ethic Alliance. And uh, we are partnering up with um, a few, well, more than a few, um, content providers from Ukraine. And we believe that we are helping them, them to to all of, uh, all of their resources, their content, uh, to facilitate it so that children can keep on their education and, and keep on uh, having their, uh, the, the, their connection to their, to their Ukrainian roots so that they don't feel lonely or lost. I mean, of course, they're, they're facing a very tough and challenging situation. So we wanted with this um, Ukrainian ecosystem help them learn the language of the country that they are at at the moment. They're facing that reality, so they, they, they need to know a little bit more about the culture, the history, and everything uh, of the country that, that um, is hosting them, right? So we are partnering with uh, ministers of education, as we do at Odilo, but specifically uh, in, in, this, uh, in this amazing project or movement, we are receiving a lot of support we actually started this as something way, way smaller, but as we receive this, uh, this help and support from different partners, not only uh, Ukrainian uh, content providers, but also this uh, federation, association, group of volunteers, uh, Ukrainian professors, we at, at Odilo, we are putting all of our resources to connect uh, teachers, Ukrainian teachers, volunteers with children that are around Europe because they had to, to flee from the country that actually two thirds of the Ukrainian children have been forced to, to leave. So that's, that's, our, that's is still a reality. We are in the day 103 uh, days of the, since the, the war started and, and this is still a reality. So as I was mentioning before, right? 
first, th they are living three challenges. The first and more obvious is that they, they have to learn this new culture and, and, and this, this new language. So we at Odilo have the resources and the technology to create from scratch learning experiences so that they can learn, for example, Spanish, if they are in Spain or if they are in Slovakia, Slovakian or Romanian, like different languages. We have a, a catalog of three million, more than 3.5 million resources, thanks to all of the content providers. And for us, it's, it's a honor to, to help create an impact with all of uh, the content that we can put together. But we, uh, the reason why we're partnering up with uh, Ukrainian content providers is, is for them to have resources on their own language so that we can maintain the learning programs and, and help them stay close to, to their roots. And also, third, that we cannot forget, and it's very important, to help them also be entertained so that they can, we can support them on, on their psychological challenge or of having uh, constant information on the war. They open up the news, they're going to see every day how terrible and, and, and and how tragic the situation is. So we, we try to help them to mentally escape from that uh, reality, right? And, and this is the, the, the look and, and feel of the ecosystem that I can show you afterwards. But it's a, it's a very Net Netflix style kind of uh, platform or ecosystem where it's, it's unlimited. Uh, they have uh, nowadays for 4,000 resources in different languages, but we are nurturing the platform day to day as we go with our partners and as they help us uh, nurture and get and grow the ecosystem and also thanks to you and thanks to all of the partner that, that partners that help us on our day to day to improve on the resources and on the catalog itself. So it, it works with artificial intelligence and, 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 and so the, the user when it logs in, the, all of the ecosystem will be built up depending on the, on the user and all, all the, on the content that they, they've been consumed. So depending on the learning level or the learning necessity, the ecosystem will adapt and is fully personalized to, to all of them so that we can keep them um, helping on, on their education. So this is a little bit of, of what, what you've seen in, in the video. So I just don't want to stay um, a lot here, but just for you to know that we cover all of the European languages in the ecosystem and uh, we, you, they can consume, you, you can consume uh, the resources in any type of format that you imagine. So audiobooks, ebooks, um, videos, magazine, summaries, if you don't have time, like it's, it's very, um, adaptable to the user, like depending on the type of situation they have or the, or the learning style or because we want to be focused on helping um, promote a learning habit. So even not only be there to support on, like uh, on this 100% uh, non-profit initiative, but also promote the learning habit that they, they had in the past. So for, for example, uh, we are uh, working on generating some virtual classes taught by Ukrainian professors that are volunteers and we're connecting them with children that are in, in, in other countries. And also reading plans. And, and this we do with our learning experiences that thanks to, to our learning capabilities and how we are evolving in, in these uh, learning technologies, we are able to put together different learning experiences depending on, on, on these uh, learning uh, necessities or learning levels. And this is one of the latest initiatives that we are pushing. Uh, we, we wanted to be the their hub of print on demand, so we complement the digital solution with the possibility of having the books printed, printed on demand. So, so we are uh, managing all of the logistics so that children can receive their books. A lot of clients, uh, Odilo clients, have been helping us a lot to make this a reality, and uh, we are receiving a lot of thank thankful notes because children, they are receiving the physical books, for example, in the libraries and on their schools, and we complement the platform, the ecosystem, with, uh, with the books that they, they're receiving, right? And it's very, very, very important to note that all of the profits generated with the consumption of the resources, 
uh, not only digital but also, on, for example, in, in, in all of the royalties from the print on demand. This is 100% uh, going to the to the publishers, to the content providers. For us, it's very important to to support that and to make that very clear. It, for us, it's, it's an investment or a, a big effort that we're doing, and we're very delighted to do so. But uh, sometimes they, like people, they're very surprised. Like, really? So, but what's the margin that you generate from from the consumption, from for the um, for the usage of the, of the, all of the resources? And, and we have to explain that this is a, a social initiative, and that we are very happy, and we are also very lucky to be in education to be able to do so. If, if we were in another industry, probably, I mean, everyone, everyone can help, but being in an edtech industry. Like uh, it's it's helping us a lot to help, so we are happy to do that, too. And and this is in in, in relation to to what I was mentioning before in regards to help them um, find this peaceful space to consume resources in video, like in in different not only learning uh, material but also nonfiction, for example, like videos and stuff, and and even book clubs for them to be more entertained while learning. But they, they also have that uh, type of content that they, they can enjoy with their family, so that they, they have a, a time to, to, to disconnect from reality. So we want to keep on being the trustful partner of, of uh, the, all of the content providers. We are in, in, um, in currently partnering up with more than uh, 3.500 content providers from the top content providers in the world. We are very lucky so that we are um, offering an outstanding um, solution thanks to all of these uh, updated content from the top content providers. And for us, it's also uh, a, a good thing that we provide these uh, publishers the opportunity to make this social impact in the world. So for us, it's, it's, it's very important too. And we are very happy to, to have all of this support. And, and, and I already mentioned that this is 100% uh, social non-for-profit initiative. And, and our ambition is to keep on growing and improving the ecosystem. So thanks to, to initiatives like this, we can think farther and, 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 and take a step ahead and, and, think, of, and think it twice and, and say, how, how can we put all of our resources to help on, on social initiatives? Uh, so, it, like every time that education is at risk, we want to be there and we want to, to keep on uh, mm, exposing all of our resources to, to help as, as much as we can. So this was all. I don't know. If